is. All right. So last bit of this fucking world. Let's hope I can actually make it. Come on, let's go and away we go. <laughs> oh, nice! Somebody actually clipped that. Too bad that was not recorded in an episode. Shit! 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 Come on! God damn it! I hit right at a fucking corner end. I do believe you just flared up. Ha ha ha! It's fucking fucking Are hilarious. Are you fucking kidding me? You're a comic genius, friend. <laughs> Your fucking comedic, your, your comedic potential has just skyrocketed, just uh, shot off the platform. What happened? I've been you have lifted Christ. off of the fucking ground, my friend. Are you, you okay, so You have just, just fucking ev evaporated into the air, and you are now ascending above us mere mortals. Excuse me while I snap my neck. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking What's a. worse to you, death by heat stroke or death by hypothermia? You know, as a Texan, this is gonna sound weird, but I actually prefer being too cold rather than too hot. Because if you're too cold, you, there's always something you can do to fix that. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Rip off my skin eventually if I'm too hot? Exactly, that's the thing. It's like, when you get too hot, you can only go so fucking far. Uh, you can even even if you fucking strip down nude, if you're too fucking hot, there's just nothing you can do at after that point. After, it's if you're too cold, reason. if you're too cold, even if you are fucking naked, you know you can go you can go fucking you can build a fire. You can fucking go and fucking run to get Come your on. blood flowing. You can put, oh, no. put on layers. There we go. You're fucking, Nice th th there's a lot more shit you can do whenever you're too cold as opposed to when you're too hot. So I'd say uh, heat death is probably better than cold death. I like what Shine Steel explains about being too hot. If being too hot, you can actually dry drown because the moisture in your lungs will actually suffocate you. Yeah, no, it's called uh, the principle of condensation. And it happens Fuck, inside man. of you. God damn. Also, I'm just going to say this too. Heat is one of the many reasons California sucks, and I know I'm, I've never been to Texas, and that might be make, make me a pansy compared to you guys, but it is just too hot here in California. Which is one just ask Bliss about Texas. Y'all, y'all some bitches, honestly. Hey, at least Calif I admit it. California heat is nothing. I went to the fucking desert area of California for about six months in both the summer, so that was like the summer yeah, all nice. the way to like when the winter was starting to kick off there. The summer was fucking nothing. NOTHING! Hey, I grew up on Long Island. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, no, you, you, you're not used- you're not used to the sun. Ever. Long Island, I actually get the sun there on Long Island, not New York Damn proper. It. Oh. You get the sun in Long Island, so why aren't you used to the heat? Because our winters are actually cold there, too. Instead of, like, California, where it's like... Summer, hot summer, very hot summer, and then maybe like, eh, it doesn't feel like summer. I will say in the deserts, it actually gets really fucking cold. Cause like I said, I was in the desert area for about six months, like from the ass end of summer to about the middle of fucking winter. God damn it. It was pretty, yeah. It, actually, no, it was like the middle of summer towards the beginning of winter so thankfully i ended up getting out of there before it got into the wimp into the winter proper but yeah in the desert it fucking drops Shit. like a fucking rock i really hate where the mines are placed sometimes god damn it people are like oh yeah the fucking deserts are the deserts are always hot that's a good thing about the deserts like no 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 ho <laughs> no the deserts they get cold as fuck friends Come it's on. like the fucking ocean. They're like, oh yeah, the Gulf of Mexico is warm, so the ocean's gonna be fucking warm too. Oh, oh no, that motherfucker is like 40 degree water. Mm. That shit ain't warm unless you're from fucking Canada. It's probably boiling at that point. Calling Blissy cute results in a fate worse than death. No, it doesn't. You just gotta fucking sit on the top shelf where she can't reach you.
Either that or be like me and be above five feet. There you go, you're safe. <laughs> you know, maybe wear a cup just in case. <laughs> if you're too short, wear stilts. <laughs> I don't know, think of something. Shit. <laughs> I will dig out a spot in the sand during death in it and eat scorpions to live. Is it actually doable to eat scorpions to live? You That's... can eat anything that fucking moves as long as you know how to take it apart. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure also, science would... I, I'm going to point out, he says, by nightfall, I'll carve open a horse and sleep in its body. Why not use the horse to get out of there? So you mean like... Fucking the... idiot! You mean like the Tauntaun from Empire Strikes Back? Yes, that's an actual thing. The idea is actually with a camel, but it's the same shit. Basically, because you if you cut open the carcass of an animal, whether it's recently killed or not, the idea is that its fucking fur and all that shit acts as an insulating layer as you curl up in its guts. Oh, shit. Goldie, we Mexicans put scorpions into our tequila. Yeah, no, it's true. It's gross, but that's tequila because it's tequila. Shit. Here we go. Okay. God damn. Getting my ass handed to me. Oh, damn. Well, thanks for that. She can fly, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know that she can fly. All I have to do is breathe hard enough and she blows off, of course, so you know. <laughs> so you know, even Steven. Damn it. <laughs> Because the horse ran itself out and died from heat stroke. Oh, Fuck. so the horse is an idiot. Okay, fair enough. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Ask all y'all from hot areas, have you ever seen snow? Yes, as a matter of fact, and in my home state to boot. So, that was fun. It snowed for literally, like, two days in Texas, and those two days were on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and for, like, a little bit after Christmas Day. Let me just put it this way, here in California, when it's raining outside, people are freezing. I'm like, you guys are pansies. And yes, I have seen snow. It's here, rare though. that it ever snows in California. I just said not here. I mean... Yeah, no, it also snowed while I was in North Carolina for a good two or three weeks. Yeah, because I, I, I went home for Christmas back in Texas and I was like, oh yeah, this is, you know, typical Texas weather. It's like a good fucking 70 to 80 degrees out in a cool day. I was enjoying myself and I'm sitting at the airport. It's like, oh yeah, your flight back to North Carolina has been canceled. Fucking why? It's like, it's been snowing a lot. I'm like, it hasn't been snowing. Y'all are fucking high. And I get on a flight the next fucking day and I land in North Carolina and there's, there's like fucking two feet of snow. I'm like, oh, I guess it has been. <laughs> well, I took a Nintage, picture of it actually. My ultimate weakness: a warm blanket. Uh, actually, that's false. You're lying, honey. Your ultimate weakness is chocolate, and I've exploited that several times. Oh, something I should Shut know about. Shut the fuck up! Haha! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> hey, it's a. They're not supposed to know that. <laughs> Even I know your weakness. Well, now we know, room. Mimi. Hold up! Somebody's coming, trying to come into the room. Oh, come Fuck. on, Mama. Hold up. I'll be back. I don't know, because only Golden knows me and maybe Bliss. Okay, um, I've known uh, Dever since, like, 2014. Maybe earlier. Yeah, no, uh, we've had some fond memories. Jesus Son of a Christ. bitch! Fuck! I hear treachery. Yes, yes, you do. You know, if I ever get my a proper, like a fix the fan problem on my computer, they really probably need to get a new case for that and. <clears throat> excuse me. Fix my computer issue and then, like, um, try to figure out a way to actually get stable internet for, like, more than a month. May I could do some more offline play together, shenanigans again with you guys. Uh, what game? Just any game. Remember how I used to do Cards Against Humanity with you guys? Yeah, no, I'd be open to that. You know, at some That'd point... Be like other games, like it's, Dead by Daylight. At some point, I had this fun idea, like... Well, obviously, I would need to get a good processor, but... Um, I would like to do, like, on some occasions that I would um, 
host a stream where I would do like Jackbox games like Quip Blash and uh, Gespionage. And like, oh, yeah. yeah, no, games that involve a lot of people, it makes it more exciting because they're much more involved and not just me doing like all the gaming while everybody else just sits back and has a conversation. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Go this way, go this way. <laughs> How I express love. I think you're cool. That's gay. But I'm gay. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I consider myself pretty straight, so you know. I mean, I, I can swing either way, but right now I'm swinging towards you. <laughs> I don't swing anyway, so. Okay. Die. <laughs> Also, autistic uh, writer. I I prefer to keep my chocolate and my lemon separately <laughs> for now. Well, I do actually don't swing anyway, so yeah. Nah. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Can't, maybe can't figure out what I've applied. That oh well. Would it improve my bedtime performance if I was covered in chocolate sauce? <laughs> I'm sure Mimi I mean, would love that. Maybe, but you have to clean the bed afterwards. <laughs> that shit's messy, yo. Did you clean the bed afterwards? I, I did. I watched the sheets. Uh, I didn't watch. Uh, Cause I'm fucking. I, 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 I guarantee. I guarantee you that all that fucking lube did not fucking land on my dick. <laughs> I need to God say, damn it. If you ever have that situation, I think you just have to get an entirely new bed. No. Yeah, just by holding because of chocolate sauce. The fuck? What are your bed sheets made out of? Paper? That shit's gonna go into the mattress. So? <laughs> you can oh no, there's chocolate. chocolate sauce in my mattress. I can never use it again for as long as I live because this is going to hinder my ability to sleep on this fucking mattress. <laughs> yeah, what? Clean it. 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 It's fine. Sure oh no, fucking... my bed will now smell like chocolate for the rest of eternity. <laughs> what a what a fucking horrible no, thing. Wait, that, that stuff <laughs> the, the poor God. children. You got what your is... chocolate and my peanut butter. Perfect. <laughs> oh, uh, my Derek God. the Brony, what is the worst video game you have ever played? In recent memory, anything from fucking roadblocks because I have been tortured with it since the uh, day my sister discovered it. No. Oh, sorry. Oof. And legit, she's been hooked on a game where the point of the game is literally to go over a rooftop and take a shit on people and try to shit as on many people as you possibly can. Sounds like Wait. a pretty crappy game. And then after you take that dump, you somehow make that dump sentient and you're able to make it hop around to help to hit more people in a time limit. I'm questioning your sister. But, you know. <laughs> I've heard of getting down on the dumps, but this is ridiculous. Wait, wait, are you talking about fucking Muddy Heights? I think so. Is I don't that the, yeah, that's the game where you're on top of a skyscraper and you take a shit and you control its direction. And you can, yeah, and you can buy like fucking <laughs> bubble gum and shit that can like increase the elasticity so it'll bounce around. Yeah, it's a fucking, fucking land disgusting yep, game. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> it's a fucking just... <sighs> I, I, was, I, I watched her play that game. I seen that. I seen that played from Markiplier and uh, Jack Septic. Mark, Markiplier. And, yeah, no. Yeah, already, I... I'm just like, um, I, I don't, I don't need. I, I, I have several questions. I'm not There's playing that. Game. Several questions. It's, it's... There's also another game where you're this weird circle person and your butt is on your face and you're shooting poop from an apartment. Oh my god, that lot. game! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> don't make fucking. I watched game. Mark play that game. What the fuck? Is it? I don't even I, want to know. You're letting your sister play it? What the fuck is wrong with you? I, <laughs> I don't have control. I just walk into my room randomly and I see her playing these things and I'm like, why? Yeah, she, that kid is gonna be scarred for life. That's she's gonna grow God. up to be a psychopath. I'm sorry. Honey, she's related to me. Was there any other path she could take? Uh, uh, I mean, is she mm. taking a better path than the rest of your family? Hey. Oh. <laughs> Burn. Uh, to be fair, she has not known a single day of hardship in her entire life. She gets loved to death by everybody. You know, mm -hmm. with games that involve, you know, raunchy humor, we can never forget the classic that is Boogerman. Ooh. I've actually... Uh, delicious. <laughs> 
I've never really played that game. Like, I barely touched it. I don't even know if the game is any good or if it's worth playing. See, I was going to say the name of a different game, but I have to gauge the age limit for your audience, Goldie. So I have to... Ha have you heard the conversation in the past anything? <sighs> Mim. Ha have you? There's... You have to realize that because most of... Most of my time, I hang out with people who are just as garbage and meanish as me. We play a lot of porn games that are just stupid. Ugh. You find stupid and porn because I, I, I didn't know that such a combination of words existed. <laughs> well, imagine going on, an inter on the internet and then you find a link on Tumblr to a game well, you play it's Ash Ketchum, and your literal goal is to try and find and hump as many as many ladies as humanly possible. What? But with awesome. animation. So it's like banned from Equestria Daily. Kinda, but the main difference is is that you literally have no control on which order you can go do all this stuff. It, it, it's a very linear game. It's impossible to fail it. <laughs> it is. These games are interesting. <laughs> There's also one for um, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. No, no, watch. just stop right there. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I basically found one for basically any fandom you can think of. At this of point. course, it's Rule 63. I mean, no, 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 no Rule 34. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Is it so easy wrong to get roll. that mixed up? I gotta go sit in my corner. You got the rules of the internet wrong, you ass faced bitch -aloid. Yeah, it's rule 74. Uh huh. No, that's rule 72. Jesus fucking oh. Christ. Sorry. I, I'm confusing people in the chat. You, you guys think I'm an innocent little goat. I no. ruined that perception you of people a long ago. Never after. underestimate uh, no, this goat. No, no, <laughs> after, you know, after the many, many times in the bedroom, the, yeah, yeah, no, that, that illusion uh -huh. has been shattered. <laughs> Honey, there's still people who believe it, and I, I, I love, I just, I just love it when they realize the truth and the world breaks apart, because that's always a good moment. Yeah. Never underestimate this goat. <laughs> I, I, I don't. The goat has seen things and done things. To Courtesy me. of Kikyo. Hey. Hey, <laughs> I'm the reason why she's... <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't start being this way until I met her, and I'm like, you know what? Fucking, she can be raunchy as fuck, why can't I? Because she's got really big titties. <laughs> well, I guess I'll take my average-sized titties and go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you also have really big titties. <laughs> I'm just saying, she, she discovered that fact far before you did, that's why. Don't worry, honey. I, I, I've acknowledged that Kikyo's boobs have their own gravitational pull. They essentially have their own solar system at this point. I mean, yeah, that's why everybody just kind of wants to just <laughs> fucking the slam their head into them. Uh, not it's, me. It's not, by, it's not by force of habit. It's it's just by the sheer gravitational pull just fucking... I love Thank you, Kikyo. Thank you for joining us tonight. Oh, well, it's because women have magnets in their boobs. Good night, everybody! I'm sorry. Oh, Bye, loser. You see, men have yeah, magnets no. in their eyes. It, moves. it all makes sense. I need to make an animation where it's just me being really fucking cute, and at the end, she looks at everybody and she just says, "Titties." <laughs> <laughs> Duh, uh, the screen the itself is making it so perfectly clear right now. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I already Why downloaded that one, man? that one fucking trophy. clip of Solar just listing shit worse than death. I'm I'm super tempted to just pop it into fucking Premiere and just make a really shittily made animation. <laughs> so apparently, Jilly. it seems I've Pretty made great. it seems I've beaten this game on easy. <gasps> so, I guess that's quite a way to end it. <laughs> we talk about titties while. This game is congratulating me for completing the game on the first uh, difficulty. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, I yep. don't mind continuing more of this. It. Yeah, I don't mind continuing this game on a harder mode. Like, <laughs> so far when playing these stages, it was such a breeze by comparison. So, Maybe I don't mind continuing these on harder, uh, harder levels. So, that'll be fun.
I like this game. This this is this game's a lot of fun. Wee. Yeah. Anyways, um, I should call. We were this talking one. about boobies. And yes, boobies I, are very nice. And um, I have an episode to end. <laughs> Worse than death is an endless loop of being tortured by a. Oh my god. Oh, 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 Jesus, science, <laughs> fucking A. See, science, that would, that's what loop is for. Okay, yeah. good night, everybody. Good night. It's like